Welcome back to Captain of Industry. My name is Nilaus and we are here with the third episode. And uh, this episode will be uh, really diving into where we go from sort of a truck based and sort of more of a city builder to more of a factory builder look, because this this episode is all about the belts. How much better everything gets when you transport stuff with belts is just the core of the idea. On top of that, we've also built our shipyard, so we're going to be setting out uh, into the world and then occasionally we'll see that we'll uh, arrive at a new location and once we arrive at the first one, we'll have a mission completed uh, that will get there. I've done a few things, just cleaning up things here. These two are now uh, made into the automatic ones, so they are faster, but they're not really working very well because there's just an insufficient, insufficient iron supply and that's going to be one of the things we want to fix. As we go here, we can see that it's exploring and as soon as it is done exploring, it'll be good. I'm going to get another one because uh, we are going to get a more, uh, yeah, we're going to get more uh, people. So we need more farms here. Now, I also have uh, now researched this vegetable thing. And uh, there we go. How about that? Oops. Uh, let's see. Vegetable thing here. Uh, it'll probably be way more susceptible to water droughts. Now, we got the shipyard, we got some bricks, all right, we got synthetic rubber. I don't know why that was gated, but uh, we built the synthetic rubber. We got the construction, construction part two, yes, we got that. And we got a mining coal. So I think that there's a little bit of a sequencing error here in this. So we got it, that's perfect. We got a new location. We have now found the oil technology, absolutely brilliant. Can I continue up here? And we'll just go up and explore as we go along. It's not particularly interesting what we get there. Fuel station is actually one of the first things we're starting to see. We're starting to see an accumulation of the yellow construction parts. The yellow construction parts are the ones we need for belts and pretty much anything else. Before I dive too much uh, further in, thank you very much, everyone, for following the series. Thank you for your likes, your uh, subscriptions, and your comments. And also, particularly, I want to mention thank you very much to the patron supporters who are supporting the channel. Without you, it would just not be possible for me to run this channel the way I like it. And I suppose the way you like it. So thank you very much for supporting the channel and uh, the work I do here. If you want to support, then head on over to uh, Patreon. That is very much appreciated. And let's see. I think I'll build it here. Then it'll be sort of... So the thing is, this is for... This is uh, maintenance. And maintenance don't really have any, any box that they need to put in here. So I can use this as an opportunity to build that one. And then let's also just do that. And we'll be assigning one vehicle. Let's assign this quickly. Yeah, that we don't want to see that. That's something they absolutely have to fix soon. I don't like the look and look of that. Here we go. And I'll get some. And notify when empty. So what is the fuel depot? Well, anytime, for example, and this is one of the reasons why iron is low, anytime this one runs out of fuel, it has to go up here to pick up fuel. Now that's not good. So what instead what I'll do is I will um, I will have a fuel depot here and uh, soon-ish I'll have someone uh, re responsible for refueling. Oh, we have one. You should uh, get your uh, shit together to be honest. Get in there. Fuel station's out of fuel. I know. I know that's kind of what we want to fix. Uh, especially getting these ones to actually fix that. But at least the fuel station, it'll be helping uh, get some fuel into these locations. And oh, what do you get? Fuel station. We got it. And we get some bonus fuel and 30 of those. That's amazing. Set up conveyor belts. That's what we want to do. We want to set up the conveyor belts. And I think the way or the place that we want to set up conveyor belts before anything else is actually in uh, in the iron smelting department. Because that is, uh, that's kind of something that's holding up everything. So if we can fix that, that'll be absolutely amazing. Let's see if I can. So if we look at this collective thing here, this is 24. So 24 plus 24, that's 48 times 2, that's 96. That's definitely more than one. So I can, uh, I'll, I'll have to do something like this here. And then get another one into this one. Good. Now, this can go up. Because coal is only 9 for each, so 4 times 9 is uh, 36. <laughs> Damn, doing math. Oh, oh, oh. I forgot that. I forgot that. Damn. Oops. Alright, so this is much better, and uh, how we're going to build it now. Let's see if we can just smash it in here. Great. Now here I'm going to do... 
Request all of it. Notify me if empty. This one, request something and notify me if empty. Great, we get 40 more for doing it. Then we get build a loose storage to connect to an existing blast furnace. Build a U-shape uh, to output slag. That's actually just, I was just thinking about doing that. So how wonderful that is. There, there, and here. This one, just go up and merge. From here, up and merge. From here and up and merge. There we go. These ones will also have to be built automatically because I can't get in here anymore. There. Can I build that? No. Uh, but you can at least do this. And that will be slag. This slag will be marked as empty and then notify me if it's full. These two are empty. That's not a big surprise, but it is uh, kind of where it is. Where are you going now? No, it's you. Um, where do you want to go? Yeah, but let's uh, let's do off and off on all of these. Because I don't want anyone going in there anymore. That should fix the other ones. And they should be going in here. And we can now see that the belts are working. They're coming in. I don't think this one can be reached. So this probably has to be uh, uh, upgraded with belts. And, of course, we're not quite done yet. We also need to do this part here. And the output is the same because I get 24 plus 24. So that's also too much for a single belt. That means we do this part. And this probably also needs to be upgraded somehow. Um, and especially the ones in here. There. Let's just get all of them then, if we can. Perfect. And that means now we have iron flowing out and we should also have something blowing out from this one. This will not be warning anymore because I will have the warning on coming up on this. So that is uh, basically iron is now fully automated. Just put these two inbounds, make sure that you empty this and it's all good. After fixing the iron, it's time to move on to the next one. And here is also a massive overhaul for, uh, uh, for belts. And what is really important is if you see here, this one is, sometimes at least, it's producing the iron, I hope. Uh, I think that is not really producing the iron because it goes in here and this one is flagged for off, so it can't pick up. So never mind, that was a, another little issue. So we're not getting any, any of that. But if they stockpile here, then when they get picked up, they can go to two different locations. They can either go to this for uh, upgrades or they can go to one of these things that require the normal construction, the white construction parts. In that case, the answer will almost invariably be that they will uh, go on here and then uh, continue. And that means they will never really be used for this until I have a full stockpile up here, which is not really going to happen. Or I have more excess work. Oh, not enough workers. Not great. And these two need to go. But the way we fix it is simply by saying whatever build goes in here. So from this location, it can either go to another production line or it can go to another line. Damn, did that get built quickly? Uh, let's just pause you a bit and then get you unpaused. There we go. And we got a location explored. Ooh, we got corn seeds. That's nice. And some rubber and copper and vehicle parts. That's very nice things to get. So we're just going to wait for you to be fully on there and then take the next one. Let's go. We just keep sending it out as we uh, progress. And we are also going to need to get more into our uh, bigger house here. Uh, there was settlement water. When you get that, we can actually get a little bit more of unity because the unity is pretty low at this point. And things have stabilized again here, except low supply of coal. That's not really a big deal. Maybe it is a big deal, but let's uh, let's ignore that for a little bit and hope it just fixes itself. But we do have now a water facility and I can build that here. And that will be getting some water from this location. That's pretty straightforward. And then it gets a, another location here. And let's go one, two. And then it goes out. Let's just say something like this. And then we just plop it down in the water. Because that's not our problem anymore. Not our problem. There we go. And all of this needs to be built and built and built. And once this is built, we are going to get one more extra unity per second minute hour day and i can't imagine i do need this but who cares uh there every time we have this i can go in here and just say whatever can you build it one two one two 
we're gonna need concrete in the not so distant future so it's uh it's just nice to have it these are all combined i would like to build it build this upgrade but i can't oh it's in it's in it's in combat now again here what we need to do is now mark all of these so that they automatically go in here and that will help a little bit on our supply here uh, but it won't help on the inbound side but at least if we can help something on the outbound side it'll be a little bit of a help because then it doesn't have to transport as much so now we go all the inbound side let's get those built and then uh, see how we fix the inbound side as well so we're jumping in into an imminent disaster and this is the supply of diesel the reason why okay let's trace it so supply of diesel got stuck because these ones are not getting coal they were not getting coal because uh, some of these trucks they also first of all they have to travel far but they were also having a bit of sand in them or a bit of dirt and that's why they were sort of stuck with particularly with sand they didn't know how to go because i didn't have any place to go with sand so suddenly we couldn't get from coal from out here into the network and if we couldn't get it into the network then we couldn't get uh, oil working and if we can't get oil distillery working then we can't get diesel working if we can't get diesel working nothing works so we can solve this in two different ways right first we are actually getting the first little bit in here um, and by two different ways i mean one way that is uh, we are going to of course make a let's see this one i'm going to get a balancer you ship balancer that there we go and i think that i need to build it maybe here i don't know why i did this part because now i'm kind of don't really have room for anything here yeah. All right, so the first thing we get is oil comes in here and that goes up and around and in. Good, uh, down there and in and in. This is the one that's important there. All of this, can I do it? If this gets built, yes. Then this is the one that now has to be really high priority, notify if empty and get priority six because this is diesel for everything so that's pretty damn important then i'm going to prioritize inbound and outbound don't need to do both but i will then what i actually need to do is get this down here which is absolutely horrendous how did i how did i end up doing something as awful as this but um i don't know i guess we just have to go here and then go up and in and that goes and in there you go i can this is i'm not happy about this but we'll we'll make it do and this will make sure that it is priority one going in here so that we feed this build which is building a little bit which means we are now getting a little bit of diesel restored coal is still not doing great this is because we are getting coal in here but we need need that great new refugees and where are we at we're can take a little bit more we also got the tree planting but we don't have any intention of planting trees right now then on top of that we can also go outbound wise here let's get that one ah let's get this and this that will also minimize the amount of transports available and i'm also going to just pop this there you go so now this is completely built we are going to fill up the rubber should i have a warning when it's empty yeah sure just warn me when it's empty it's not necessarily that i'm going to do anything about it but at least give me a warning and then this is solved and that actually fixes a lot of issues back there the next thing we want to fix is here this also needs a uh, an inbound and uh, it's going to be the same as iron so let's just smash this in and then we'll see and so after a little big back and forth and we have our copper now hooked up we have the lines right brought in here exactly like we did for the iron it's a very beautiful setup it's very crisp it's very nice it's very square and i like it and that's going to be what we're going to be using i'm not going to build the rest of it because well we don't need it right now it'll take power it'll take all that stuff don't want to deal with that right now we have four megawatts of power available and we're using two of them had a little bit of a run in here with this one so i'm going to be uh, removing the boost and upgrading you as well oh i actually have it ready for upgrade nice so we were kind of running out of uh, the electronics because the electronics are used for this uh the maintenance and also for the 
yellow construction parts, which we have now accumulated a little bit of. So we need to look back out here on the map, just to get a sense of what we can explore. We just basically keep exploring out here, but we do have uh, something more to build, and that's kind of the bigger thing here. Now, if we look at the stuff here, this one requires iron, yeah. This one requires rubber and copper. This one requires uh, iron and gears and or parts and electronics. So we're starting to see some of the same more iron. Uh, actually, only one copper though, but uh, this one is a little bit of everything. And over here we have these parts. So I think that what I want to do first is I want to sneak these parts here. Can I sneak them over to this location? No. What I need to do is I need to start working on a massive bus. Yay, bussing. And the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to start all the way over here. Whew. Okay, get the iron in here. That's going to come in. And then I'm going to take, you know, the iron will be, since I already have this location fixed, then it will be at this location. And I go one, two, three, all the way up. And we just drag it in here. Just keep, keep dragging. And where is it going? How far? Nope, not like that. Yes. Uh, you might be uh, shaking your head at the uh, hoopers of building this much. It's a lot. 91. Damn, I can actually deliver it and just be done with it. But I'm not going to. Or am I? So the idea here is that we will get everything in on this location. And uh, the way I usually do things is yeah, I build it with three distance. So that would be here but unless there's more than one uh, more than two locations inbound so i'm gonna go there that gets inbound and i'm gonna take this out and then from here i'm simply gonna be figuring out when the closest we can get it up here so that means the bus line comes in branches off great and then that should be fully automated in here now of course we won't be able to do this anymore uh, the truck inbound this will be the same but for copper well, the question is, should I then have a single sim similar one for copper? Oh, yes, absolutely. And that will go probably... Well, it'll definitely go underneath here. So it'll go up to that one. And just keep flowing this way. We'll probably need copper for something else on the bus. So for now, we'll just get it to here. And then I need two inputs. Rubber is uh, irrelevant. So we don't care about that. And let's see, this will be coming from. We're not gonna do all of it, but basically this is just showing you how to make a bus design, which is pretty cool. I will also leave this line empty for opening because I'm gonna have some other stuff coming in from this side. Oh, how did you get in there? Well, get out again. And that means I will also need a box of here. That'll go from this location, I think. And that will go here. One, two. No, one. And this will be the rubber inbound. I keep wanting to call it batteries. I have no idea why I want to call batteries. But this one will be rubber in. So that means if we can get copper on this line, which we can, we just need to get it from here. And let's see if that fits. Somehow this doesn't fit. I've been moving it. Ah, one off. Yeah, okay, of course. I need to sneak it by here. Sneak it over there. And sneak it over here. And then connect. There we go. So that's the copper line and the iron line inbound. Once we have those two in inbound, inbound. I guess the next one is simply going to go out here. And then we'll have another line of... I uh, guess I'll drag it to this location. This will be the gears. So then we ask ourselves, where do we need the gears? We need the gears here. And then we just need an input. And this will have one, two, three parts inbound. So that's a little more complicated. One is the iron. One is, and that means if I'm gonna get three inbounds, then I need to get a little bit further away. Let me see, this is one, two, three, four, five, yep. So this is the iron coming in. 
from the first line. The next one is um, electronics. Electronic needs to go out as well. And I think I actually have to do it in a different way. Whew, I need to build the electronics up here. Like that. And this one's also incorrect. And let's see, that's fine. So electronics will now have to go from this line to here and go up like that. I know it seems silly that we are going backwards up, but it is the right thing to do. And this one goes to this location and in. Yep, it's weird, but it is how I want it. And that means now I can get the three inputs in. That means the first one will be iron, goes here. There, I'm ma making this pattern because it's as compact as possible. Um, I'm wondering if I should have this. Yes. Now the next one will be then at level one, which will come from the gears. Uh, press R so it doesn't attach. It goes in here and then press R again. Oh. And this part has to be taken out and then I get from this location and then go one, two up. That will be connected to this line is gears and then the last one which will be at level three or at level two which I'll start by making yeah. No. Oh right, that's 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 why. Okay, so it's only level two. Yes, that works. But I still need to get it from up here. So let me first go this way and and then press R to get it in. No. There. And then from this location, I go here, and it's still... Nope, it's going to be level. Ooh, it's going to be complicated. And I, I need it on this side. There we go. I mean, that's simple, right? That's a piece of cake. I'll do the rest. Now it gets exciting to see if the whole damn thing works here. I try to hook up most of the things, and uh, at this point, I'll just, uh, I'll just do this and hope that it works, most of it at least. Let's have a look and figure out why this one is not working. Huh. And of course, the problem with the copper was the fact that if the, um, it's clever, in the, clever enough that it uh, doesn't allow this to go out or it doesn't go out unless there is a consumer. Now there is a consumer and we'll see that it goes out. Yes, okay, so that was actually made a whole lot of sense. Let's uh, get these inbound. And uh, stuff that's only used for one thing, I'll just build it as as this. Let's see, we still have more, so we can still add more of this. There we go. More of this get uh, get built. And then we just kind of wait. What about here? Now we don't have a single one. Oh, this one is important, like really important. Because without this, <laughs> we are not getting any construction. Oh, no. Are we getting any construction parts? No, we don't. All right, I need to undo something in order to get this built. Right, sequencing, it's important. Now, everything is actually done, but there's uh, still more because I don't actually need to build this. If I'm, uh, if I'm thinking about this, then I don't actually need to build it. I can just build instead. I can build from here and I can get some kind of uh, spaghetti over here. And that will go on top of this, I think, is a good idea. And that goes to this one. And then goes up here and goes... Oh. Can I do this? Yes, I can. So from here and in. And then we just need to get this built. There. And I will now rotate here. So they will go in this way, which means now I... I wish I could rotate this one, but I can't. But I, what I can do is just get it to go this way around 
and undo. So now we empty our stone brick. Well, I mean, in all honesty, that's kind of irrelevant because there's barely anything left. I can just take it out like this and take you out because you don't deserve to be here anymore. Eh, maybe you do, but that's beside the point. We'll get these two and they will go over here and they will now go in and I can actually, and I want to get another one of these and I think I'd want to get another one of these because now things are looking up. This will be upgraded. These ones will be upgraded. Yeah, everything gets upgraded. There we go. We're just preparing for the future and a brighter future that is. This one will just be a single one. Don't care. Ah, do I even care about upgrading this one? Nah, not really. It's not important. But these ones are used for sort of flowing things that need to get there. So I think I'll upgrade this. I'll definitely get this upgraded. So get you and you and then also let's just hook them up. So we finally come to the end of this build. We have finally, well, almost, what do we have here? Six of those and I need nine. Okay, we can pretend that that's here. It will be there shortly. They're coming in here. All right, so what happens now? Now we have a bus and we have iron, copper, mechanical parts, electronics. We'll add more as we need it. I will not add stuff. Basically, my principle is if it's only used for one thing, it doesn't go on the bus. Then it can go sort of on a on a box in here if it only goes from one to another like this then i'll just go a direct li di direct link here easy uh, we'll also eventually take out uh, this part we the brickworks and replace it with concrete that we'll be making in the next episode so if you're interested in how to get that then that is definitely what we want to do in the next episode uh, also if you look at research just to summarize while i've been building and making materials we've also completed all the research up to and including uh, this research lab 2 and that means when the next thing we also want to do is make research lab 2 and then with research lab 2 then we can uh, we can start looking at more advanced science and then figure out what the next objectives are but this will make mean a lot less uh, util utilization of my resources here of uh, of my trucks because now any copper and any iron the iron is never going to get anywhere except on a bus so it just goes in here and then goes straight into the boxes where it needs it goes into the boxes where it is uh, it's going and then well basically just be happy about it uh, we're still missing a little bit of dirt and that's just a good idea for for us to sort of uh, use that as a um, as a motivating factor to uh, to get the concrete going because concrete is a lot cheaper when it comes to uh, to uh, to coal consumption so that's uh, what we want to do eventually at least but having belts everywhere and having uh, construction parts too available makes is a big step up in the, in the game very neat crisp uh, build for iron, very neat crisp build for copper. I can scale it up as I need it, then it will be ready. Everything has warnings so that if uh, things go wrong, there will be a warning and there are no warnings, so that's good. Next, uh, one of the next couple of things will also be the advanced research and also more power because belts are now taking a lot of power. So uh, doing something about farming, doing something about uh, uh, the large generator. Uh, there, where is it? Here. Oh, no, there we go. Mechanical mechanical power storage there we go that that one as well uh get some better what was the other thing that we wanted and oh oh we also have advanced diesel and stuff so there's tons of things that we need to do and it's all just about looking forward and figuring out what is the next thing we want to do this thing has uh, eliminated pretty much all of our all of our trucking needs which is great and it doesn't take much space and it can be expanded a little bit more so i hope you have enjoyed this uh, spaghetti uh, this serving of spaghetti and uh, i will be seeing you guys in the next episode until then take care and as always stay effective